let me tell you. Canceled. Ugh. Pick up pumpkin on my shirt. So freaking good. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tao. Today, I am hopping on the trend. If you haven't noticed already, which I'm sure you have because like I'm a little bit late to this game, every single YouTube video is banana bread. Oh my gosh, banana bread. Making banana bread this quarantine. Oh my gosh, banana bread. Um, so I'm hopping on that trend and I'm gonna be baking today. However, there's a little twist to this. Um, I hate bananas, so I'm not gonna be making banana bread. I'm gonna be making pumpkin loaf because bananas are just disgusting. They're mushy, they're like yellow. Just no. Canceled. No, I'm not afraid of bananas because once my brother tried to chase me around the house with one because he thought I was scared of them, I am not. I just hate them. Bananas are canceled, okay? So we're gonna create our new trend, which is making pumpkin loaf. And I just thought that doing some baking for day number like 30 in quarantine would be kind of fun. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down to the kitchen and start making this fire pumpkin loaf. No more quarantine banana bread, it's quarantine pumpkin bread season. So share the video, let everyone know the new trend now, the tea, what's going on, and while you're at it, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram because I post daily content on there. So let's go make this pumpkin bread. Okay, so the very first thing it says is to preheat the oven to um, 350. That is all started up. Okay, so I have all of the ingredients here. We've got the star of the show, the pumpkin. It says two cups of sugar. Oh my goodness. Also, I want to know who came up with the idea of making banana bread during quarantine. They're not okay. Maybe they are suffering from a banana bread virus or something. You know what else I'm actually kind of upset about, it's all part of social distancing, which you should be doing, is like now all my friends are home because they were away for school. I just put in two eggs, by the way, and now vegetable oil. They're all home because they went away to other cities. And now that they are home, I want to see them, but I can't. So that is very frustrating to me. It's irritating. Okay, one cup of oil. Yeah, I'm doing this right. Wow, this looks not very appetizing. Hopefully this is the right oil. It says mix, whip. So I guess we're gonna whip all of this together. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is really interesting. I can't believe I'm gonna be eating this. Like this is gonna be going inside my body. Okay, now it says one can of pumpkin. You know what I have been doing? Well, I was gonna say really good, but better than before, getting up at a decent hour and then eating breakfast, lunch, and then dinner instead of getting up at like one in the afternoon and then having lunch and then like a few hours later having dinner. Oh, jeez. Because then I'd be staying up until three in the morning. Now I'm actually going to bed at like 12. So that is an improvement than before. Pumpkin has a weird smell. I really like pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. I think just like pumpkin on its own, it has a really weird smell. Now it's just mix all this together. It doesn't look that bad anymore. It kind of looks like pumpkin pie. I am going to make a mess. I'm bound to create some sort of big mess here. I always do. Whenever I cook, I always make a mess. It's not good. I'm not proud of it. Okay, one teaspoon of baking powder. I don't really do like all of the dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. I just kind of like mix them all together because I don't want to do extra dishes. It just makes you have to clean another bowl and like another spoon, all these extra things that you shouldn't need to have to clean if you just did it all along in one bowl. We're saving the turtles here. How does this go now? Okay. My favorite part is all of the seasonings. Now, I'm not even gonna measure this. I'm just gonna kind of like wing it. Wait, how much does it say? One teaspoon of nutmeg. Let's, I really don't like, yeah, I don't like nutmeg. Okay, ginger. It says one teaspoon for all of them. So I'm just kind of like taking a guess. Your guess is as good as mine. 
Is anyone else's family driving them absolutely bonkers during this quarantine? Like everyone is so bored and they're just getting on each other's nerves. My sister will try and scare me six times a day because she doesn't have anything else to do. So she finds spots to hide in the house to scare me. Okay, two cups of flour. This is the last thing that the recipe calls for. This is two cups, so I'm just filling it off. Also, I wanted to add chocolate chips to this because if you don't add chocolate chips into your baking, then what are you even doing? Chocolate chips in your baking just needs to happen. It doesn't matter what it is. Chocolate chips just go with everything. If someone can name a bad thing that chocolate chips would go in, let me know because I don't know any. Okay, I think that's good. Chocolate chip time. I'm really excited for this. Oh my gosh, you actually look real nice. Is this oven heated up? Okay, the oven's almost... God, it's like I'm psychic or something. The oven is officially now heated up. It looks like ogre puke. <laughs> oh my God. Apparently it makes two. I believe it. There's a lot here. And I'm just gonna spray it with coconut oil. Okay, I'm taking the mixture. Oh, that looks good. Sorry. I I'm going to make a mess. I always do. Whenever I cook, I always make a mess. I got pumpkin on my shirt. I tried to wash it out. But I think it's gonna stain. This is why I can't wear white. I'm gonna put some chocolate chips on top. And in the oven, she goes. Five and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Okay, so my alarm just went off. It is time to pull these beautiful things out of the oven. Okay, disclaimer. Um, well, first of all, I changed my shirt because I got pumpkin on my white one, but I just checked the big one with a um, skewer to see if it was ready, and it's not. But the small one is. So we will take the small one out. And we have to let them cool. I hate letting things cool. I just want to have it right away. Like, I don't like waiting for it to be done. Oh, she looks so nice. Okay, I guess I'll like wait for it to cool so that I can have it pee. 312 seconds later. Okay, I'm being really impatient, I know. I think it's ready. I think it's done. Oh my gosh. I don't want to break it though. That's the only thing. Oh, wow. Uh. We're too far into this now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Oh my god, that's hot. <gasps> oh my gosh, stop. Okay, I'm so excited. I can't wait to have some. I like the end pieces. Am I the only one that likes the ends? I actually want to know, what do you guys prefer? The middle of a brownie or like the end part of a brownie? Oh. Uh. Oh my god. Oh. My. God. Okay, this is really good. This... Oh my gosh, this slaps. This is so good. Alright, well maybe we'll check. We'll check one more time. Oh my gosh, it's so mushy. I don't really know how much longer that's gonna take, so I was just gonna hang out and stare at it until it cooks. But I guess that's the end of the video, right? We don't need banana bread. All we need is pumpkin loaf. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and be eating pumpkin loaf for the rest of quarantine. That's just how it's gonna be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. And follow me on Instagram because I post daily content on there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!